Today I'm going to show you how I throw small bowls off of the hump. Uh, throwing off the hump is you start with a big piece of clay and you're only going to center the part that you need. Though I mean you could center the whole thing if you wanted to, but the advantage here is you only center the part of the clay that you need. And in this case, because I'm making tiny bowls, I'm probably only using something like a quarter of a pound of clay. And if I was putting that directly on the wheel, I mean even the wedging for that would be challenging. But putting it on the wheel and trying to center it and throw, that would be difficult to do. So this is a great way to do um, smaller things. I mean, you can do larger things. I once saw somebody put 25 pounds of clay on the wheel and throw five vases off of it. That was pretty amazing. Um, but it's great for small stuff. So what I do is I'm gonna, using my hands um, and this finger over here, I'm gonna mark off a piece of clay. And you kind of, it becomes sort of a memory thing. Like when you put your hands over it, you think about, well, that's about the same shape as the last one. So that's the amount of clay that I want. So what I'm gonna show you now is a small um, bowl that's kind of uh, wide and flat and is useful for um, spices when you're cooking or maybe uh, to hold your tea bag when you take it out of your cup of tea or maybe for a pill bowl. That's actually what I use them for. I put my morning vitamins in it. So I open this bowl up the way I would a larger bowl. I put my two thumbs together and I go down and out. The thing you have to be careful of is how far you go down because unlike uh, when you're throwing directly on the, the wheel, you, you have a sense of where the base is based on where the bat is. But you don't have that here with this big hunk of clay. So you have to sort of pay attention to where you created your bottom. All right now we're going to pull up. And now you really can't see the bottom at all. It's, it's kind of, you know, where the base of the bowl is. So what I can do is using my finger on the inside and my thumb on the outside, I can feel where the base of the bowl is and I can put a mark below that. So I have a, a guide again as to the base. Let me open it up a little bit more. It's really important to compress. These are really prone to S cracks. So make sure you do a lot of that. All right, now I'm gonna take my wooden rib. I like this one. And with the rib on a tilt at the top of the cylinder, I'm gonna press down and move down the side of the wall. And when I get to the base, I press pretty hard because I want to, again, compress. Let me just do one more to shape it a little bit more. Okay. These are great, in addition to being really useful little bowls, they're great fillers for the kiln. All right, we, I use my chamois to smooth off the rim. Now the next part that can be kind of challenging is cutting it off. So again, you don't have the wheel head to move down to, so I'm gonna use this, make believe this is my wheel head. So using the knife, I wanna, just like you would if you were directly on it, I'm gonna cut away some of the clay, which, you know, when you're first starting out, you don't really have to do. You can leave all the clay there and have extra to lift this off with. So when I get to the base, or what I made as my base, I turn the the knife to the side, the wooden knife to the side, and press down and create a flat surface. Now the important thing to note is I didn't press, didn't push all the way in with the point. I left the bowl attached to the clay. So now I'm going to cut it off using another tool. And this tool is I have a ring and attached to this ring is a piece of dental floss. And you could, I've, I found this works really well for me. You could use a very thin rope. Whatever you're doing, you want it to be thin. You could use um, a thin wire. But this is nice because it's very bendy and it's um, it's just it thin and it works well. So you put the, you put the um, floss around the bowl at the base and then you cross over. And then holding the ring in your, in your hand, you turn the wheel and you can see it cuts it off really nicely. So here's the bowl, and with all that extra clay, it makes it easy to take it off. And here, um, that's the first one. So that's my sh the shallow bowl. 
The second bowl that I like to make is a sort of taller one and it's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna use a little bit more clay for this one. I like these bowls when I'm cooking. It's really good to, you know, I put like cut up garlic and ginger in it or, you know, something that's small when you want that small bowl for things, or you could use it for um, olives. You know, if you, you, you want to have a bowl for the pits or you could put sauces in it. It's just, it's, they're re useful little bowls. I really like them. All right, so again, I'm going to, I made a, a cut off a little hunk of clay and I'm gonna go down with my thumbs and out. I'm going to compress. Pull it up. And again, I want to make that mark at the bottom so I know where my bowl is. I mean, where my base is. Okay, so I've created a little cylinder. And I'm going to, again, take my wooden rib. And then you can see this one's a taller bowl. So I don't push out as much. Compress my rim. And just a tiny bit more shaping. And again, don't forget to press down when you get to that um, base. I mean, don't press too hard or you'll dig up clay, but you, you know, you just wanna get a good a good compression. Okay. Sometimes I end up with this little dot, but you can fix that afterwards. Oh, there we go. Got rid of it. And I want to take my chamois and, and fix that rim a little bit. Use my finger to give it a little rounding because it kind of lost the round on the inside. Especially with these, you want a nice strong rim. Uh, and the same way we did before, we get our knife. I like to make kind of a tall foot with these, so I will leave a little more of a base. And then turn my knife and flatten it. Gloss. Cross it. Oh, that one went really quick. So you can you know, pull it a little and it will come off. Let me show you that bowl. You can see I, I have a good amount of clay. So that's a nice curvy bowl. And there's a good amount of clay here to cut a foot. So when I go to trim these, I will... Um, do them the same way I do any other bowl and I put them on to the uh, cloth that I have. I can't think of what it's called at the moment, but I, you can see it in the in, in some of my other videos where I'm trimming bowls. And um, that's about it, I think, for this one. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. So I thought I'd show you how I trim these tiny bowls. I normally with bowls would use a back ripper which you just wet and put onto a bat and the bowls will stick to it. But for some reason with these small bowls, especially when they get a little dry, it's um, they can pop off there. So I'm gonna show you this other way that I do this, which is I created this pancake on the wheel and then um, before I put it down, I wanna pay attention to how thick this is. This is actually pretty thick because once I put it on here, I'm not going to really be able to, you know, tap it to see what the, how far down I am. So the first thing we're going to do is center as always, just like you would if you were on a bat directly. Okay. And then you can pat it down a bit. So now you can see it doesn't really move. So I pushed pretty hard because the bowl it is on the drier side 
And because th these were thrown off the hump, the bottom over here is pretty um, uneven. So I'm going to trim away as much as I can initially just to make it easier when I go to form the foot. This one actually isn't that bad. Sometimes they're really uneven. Okay. And I'm going to use this um, tool that a friend of mine made for me. It's really cool. Um, I think it, it's a Korean tool. Uh, it's really, I don't know where you would get it from. He learned to make it from a Korean potter. So I kind of work on both the inside and the outside of the foot at the same time. So I kind of define where my foot is going to be and then I go in and trim away the inside. You remember this one was pretty thick so in the beginning I'm just kind of going for it. I'll be more careful now. And on these little bowls I kind of like to make a taller foot. I think they're fun. I made, you know, two different bowls, the flatter bowls, these, and on these I have a, a smaller foot, uh, you know, a shorter foot, but on the, on these bigger ones I like to make a taller foot. So, so one uh, thing you can do to, at least to know that you have, have the same amount of clay on the inside and the outside is just test your fingers and see that they are... Um, going down about the same amount. So I think right now I have a, I have to take just a little bit more on the inside off. Because the, the, the height of the wall should be about the same between the inside and the outside of the foot. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to soften the um, foot a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm going to take my red rib on the outside and just smooth the wall. Okay, and now we pop it off. So you can just kind of wiggle it a little because you want to, right now there's like a pocket from the air. And there you go. So that that's the bowl. Let's see how you should. Um, and then to prepare for the next one, you would just clean off the um, slab of the clay that's on there. And sometimes you have to add a little water if it gets too dry, but it's still okay for what I'm doing. So that's how I trim little bowls, and I guess that's it for now, and I'll see you next time.